Welcome to the homework for lesson 16. This is module 3 of grade 3. Get your name on here first before you forget to do it later. And we're just completing these equations. Now some of these will have missing factors or missing divisors. Um, they might have a missing quotient or they could have a missing uh, a missing dividend. We just have to Pay attention to the uh, multiplication and division symbols and the equal signs. 4 times 1 equals, we're looking for a product here, that's 4. 4 times 0, anything times 0 is 0. And now here we're looking for something times 1 equals 5. Well, any number times 1 is itself, right? So if, it, if we end up with 5 for a product, it's got to be 5 times 1 is 5. And here anything with a quotient of zero, it can only be zero that you start with. You can divide zero by any number you want. It'll always come out to be zero, but you cannot divide by zero. That's the, that's the difference. So six times, how many sixes does it take to make six? It takes, you can only have one six to make equal six. And here we need the same thing as in D over here. We've got a zero quotient, which means zero divided by six. Zero divided by seven can only be zero and seven times anything the only thing the way you can get zero for a product is if zero is one of the factors eight divided by we can't have a zero here I know we've had zero 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 but it eight divided it takes one eight to make eight and where it takes um, eight ones to make an eight and this would be something times 8 equals 8 it can only be 1 because if you had 2 times 8 it would be 16 and anything higher than that you get even bigger products and it can't be 0 because then it would be 0 times 8 equals 8 so it has to be 1 uh, here we have 9 times itself 9 times 1 I mean 9 times itself would be 9 times 9 but 9 times 1 is itself and 9 divided by itself 9 equals 1 so some of those the answers are all, this is all single digit multiplication and division, but just slow down and take your time and um, it, it'll, it'll be okay. I mean, they can be tricky because you got to pay attention to each one and just think about the zeros, the ones. Let's see, or match each equation with its solution. So here's 9 times 1 equals W. So W... Uh, that's going to be 9 times 1 is 9, right? So we're going to match it up with W equals 9 there. And W times 1 equals 6. That's more of the same stuff that we had up here, right? Uh, we know that 6, and if you look at E, here we have 6 times 1 equals 6. So we know that W has to be a 6. So we need W equals 6, and we'll match that up right here. 7 times W equals 1. I don't think that one we're going to find up here, but 7 divided by something equals 1. Well, you can divide a number by itself, it will equal 1, because it takes 1 7 to make 7. So W would have to be 7 divided by 7 would equal 1 here. 1 times 8 will equal itself. That's the multiplicative identity. 1 times any number gives you the same number back. Uh, something divided by 8, we've got a 0 quotient here. That means we have to have a 0 for our dividend. And 9 divided by 9, any number divided by itself equals 1. So we're going to find that match right there. Let C equals 8. Determine whether the equations are true or false. First one has been done for you. All right, O, C times 0 equals 8. So it says let C equals 8. So we're going to pretend that there's an 8 here. Wherever you see C, just pretend that's an 8 because it just said let C equal 8. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just going to write it in there to make it easier to look at. 
0 times 8 equals 0. Well, 0 times anything should be 0, so that's true. 8 times 1 equals 8. Any number times 1 should be itself. That's true. 1 times 8 equals 8. That's the same thing, really, except we just the commutative property of the same equation we had above. For C, okay, true. E, 0 divided by 8 equals 8. Now, 0 divided by anything has to be 0. So, uh, we would need uh, 64 divided by 8 to equal 8. So, zero, it, this, this would have to be 0. So, it has to be false. All right, if 0 is our, is our dividend, then we have to have a quotient of 0. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. Well, that's true. Any number divided by itself equals 1. And 0 divided by 8 equals 0. Yep, we've got a quotient of 0. So a quotient and a dividend are both 0. That can be true. And 8 divided by 0 equals 8. Here's the thing. You can't divide by 0. You just, you can't. False. And I, I could explain why. Um, one of the funniest things you can do is uh, ask if you if you get an iPhone or you can access uh, iOS somehow, uh, ask Siri, what is zero divided by zero, and you get a really funny answer. You can try it, but uh, just think of this think of it this way: uh, divide eight into zero groups. You can't do it. You can't because if you just put one thing there, it has to be at least in a group of one. The smallest number of groups you can have for anything is, is one group. Now you can't have zero groups because there's no way to put eight things into zero groups. Try and draw a picture of it. See what I mean. Rajan says that any number multiplied by one equals that number. Write a multiplication equation using n to represent Rajan's statement. So any number, so n is any number right let n equal any number and he says that any number multiplied by one so that's any number is n times one right multiplied by one equals that number which would be n that's it that's all you need Using your equation from part A, let n equal 5. And draw a picture to show that the new equation is true. Okay, so if n equals 5, we have n times 1 equals n. And if n equals, we can say let n equal 5. And so then we have, we'll put 5 in wherever n is. So n 5 times 1 equals five. There's our equation, right? And we're going to draw a picture now saying that five times one equals five. Here, I'll, I'll make an array. Uh, five rows of one, right? Five rows of one. One, two, three, four, five. And you can even just circle it to make it a, a group, one group of five. That's it.